Welcome to 2021. I'm Doc Jen and I'm going to give you some exercises and cues that you could do first thing when you roll out of bed in the morning so you get out of that rounded shoulder position, that poor posture. Maybe you can't reach overhead quite or you get some shoulder pain. I'm going to help you out today. And at the same time as we go through some exercises, I'm going to show you the new line of Fabletics because it is so incredible when you sign up as VIP, you get any two of their bottoms for $24, two bottoms for $24, plus 50% off the rest of your order, plus free shipping. And this is all when you sign up as a new VIP member. The link is down below and it is so worth it. I'm gonna show you some of the styles that I'm loving this January. This first outfit from Fabletics is the Connect. And what I love about this is that it reminds me of the word connection. And truly, when we're talking about improving anything within the body, we must first connect with it. So one of the first exercises that I do first thing in the morning, you could be laying down still, you can sit up, you can even look in front of a mirror, and I want you to bring connection to an area of the body that you usually talk negative toward, or you just don't ever put attention to appreciating it. So a lot of times for women, it might be the belly, it might be the thighs, bring your hands to it, touch it. You can even look at it in the mirror and say something you appreciate about it, okay? It could be the way that it moves. It could be the fact that it expands and it helps you breathe. It can be the fact that it helps you digest food so that you're able to fuel your body and actually move through the day. Your legs, they help to power you and hold you so that you can move. We don't take this into the body enough and when we don't do this, we don't actually respect the body. So why would we want to improve upon it? Why would we want to add exercises to an area that we don't have any respect for? So having respect, coming back to what you're doing for the body is so incredibly important. Now, quickly going over this outfit, these are the Oasis high-waisted pants. And why I love these, first of all, the material is so incredibly soft, but look at how much they stretch, okay? So they're not like hugging and holding me in so tightly. They're not gonna move anywhere, but they actually have some give, so they just kind of lightly lay on the body and that's what I love. I am 5'2", about 120, 125 pounds. I don't really weigh myself, so I don't know exactly, but I wear an extra small typically in all the pants and then the bra, so this is the Kinsley Seamless Bralette and what I love about this is again, you can get different sizes. I'm pretty small in the chest, but I get a small just because I feel like I have a broader back and this really fits me really well without hugging me too much into the sides because I don't like to feel like I'm getting squeezed in or cut off. So this is the Blake short sleeve long tee and you can have it in so many different ways. You can wear it long, you can tie it in the front, tie it in the side, you know, so many different options that really help and make it so cute and accessible to either wear at the gym or wear out. And what I love about Fabletics that they're doing now as well is that every Thursday they're gonna come out with a new style. So this is actually from week one and I'm gonna show you some outfits that come out along the month that you're gonna be wanting to look out for and wanting to get. Back in my natural habitat of all black, <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm not a color person. So this one is called symmetry, and what I love about thinking about symmetry is that everyone wants to achieve that within the body. One shoulder's higher than the other, my side goes in, my hips are rotated. The reality is we don't have symmetry inside the body. Think about where your lungs are positioned, your liver is huge and it's only on the right. We have differences between the lobes of the lungs, we have differences between the diaphragms. There are so many asymmetries within the body, there's gonna be asymmetry outside of the body as well and that's okay. We're not searching for perfect symmetry, but what we wanna do is bring balance. So I like to think of it more of balance and what you're gonna do, so we connect it to the body, now we're gonna use the breath with rotation. And I like to start passive and then we're gonna go into active. So first placing one hand, so you can sit at the side just like this, place one hand on your knee and then you're just going to rotate and you're gonna twist and hold. You might feel some cracks up the spine, totally fine. You don't wanna go so aggressively that you feel any, any tension or pain, okay? So this is gentle, especially if it's first thing in the morning. You can also do this throughout the day. But one hand on your knee and your hips are gonna be kind of stabilized, so knees almost like in line with the hips, okay? One hand, twist, take about three to five breaths and focus on a slow inhale and a really long exhale. You could do in through your nose, out through your mouth, but whatever you can do to kind of just start to melt and relax in the spine. You wanna think about twisting from the sternum, so try to get the sternum around as much as you can 
breathe a few times, breathe a few times. You might notice that there's restriction or there's tightness one way versus another, which is great to just start to learn where the asymmetries are in your body. Maybe you need to spend a little bit more time on one side more than the other, it's okay. So what I love about Fabletics as well, like this eco-conscious long sleeve shirt, it has the thumb pockets. I love that, that's one of my favorites. And especially as it's colder in January, having something that can kind of be long sleeve that you feel like you can work out in, but I also feel like I could throw on a cute little puffer and go outside in. It works in so many different ways. And again, these are the power hold leggings. So they don't have the pockets like the Oasis, but they still have that same stretch and give, and they just hold and hug and tight. These are an extra small. The tops, I always get an extra, extra small, and the bras, I usually do either an extra small or a small, but either way, finding what works for your body is so key, and it's okay to mix up sizes and be mediums or larges and different things, like it is okay in the Fabletics Upstart. Now what I like about this outfit is that upstarting, it reminds you, okay, now that we passively rotated through the spine, we have to actively rotate. That's usually what you wanna do if you're trying to achieve functional mobility. You don't wanna just passively stretch, but you wanna activate around that range so that the body feels like an, it can get there on its own without assistance, right? So now what I wanna do is I wanna see, I usually like using my arms with this, so I will reach out in front and then open and twist and then come back reach open twist now what you want to do and what i like about sitting and you can even make it a little bit tougher by bringing the legs up a little bit so now my knees are higher than my hips and my low back isn't going to have as much room to move so it has to move from my upper back okay so keeping the arms out reach and twist and then come back reach and twist if you feel any like tension building up Maybe you don't need to twist as aggressively, okay? So go where your body is able to. You can also kind of keep the arms up and reach and rotate this way. You'll find a lot less range of motion because now you're not relying on your arms to kind of help and guide you. You're really just having to use that upper back. So you can find ways to challenge yourself, but really, can you breathe, rotate, maybe even stay on that side and kind of bounce and twist and try to open and then go to the other side about three times and see if you can gain a little bit more range, okay? So sometimes I like to start with just the bouncing three times to each side, and then I'll kind of open five times to each side. Then I get that really good active rotation through my upper back. Now this is the Phoenix Racer Back Tee, and I think everyone needs a basic workout shirt that they can feel like comfortable in. It doesn't squeeze you too much but it just really <laughs> lays so great on the body and it's so functional for working out. All right, I'm actually just gonna buzz through these next two outfits because Fabletic did a really cool collection with Liza Koshi and you can get this available starting the first. And let me show you this bra. So this is the Lauren Sculptnet bra and the design is just so incredibly cool. And then these are the Sculptnet leggings and the design again that she made, really, really awesome. Now I know many people around the world are in cold weather and I'm about to be in Minnesota in February. So this Kristen convertible puffer jacket is gonna come in so handy. Like look at this thing. So you can actually zipper off the bottom, make it a little bit shorter and cuter or keep it long so it covers the bum and keeps you nice and warm. Okay, so one last cool one I wanna show from Liza's collection. This is the Harlow. This is the Harlow Halter reversible sports bra. So it's really cool because Actually, the other color is really, really pretty. And then it's a full halter in the back, so it's all open in the back, which is really pretty. And the matching power hold pants, they just have that really cool marble-ish design on it. So this, I usually get the extra small in all the power hold Oasis pants and stuff like that. This is actually a small, so it's a little bit bigger on my chest, but it's super comfortable. All right, since I showed plenty of outfits from week one, we're gonna skip week two and head into week three of January and what you can expect. So I love when Fabletics does this because it creates this cool layered effect where they have the Blake Ultra Crop Tee with the really cute Ella Sculptnik, and you can see like the design in the back of this sports bra too. And then these are just gonna be the Sculptnik leggings that are really like they're classic or essential. So there's not gonna be a crazy design on the side, but there's not any seams on the side as well. So it really just like holds you in nice and tight. Now in this outfit, I wanna think about opening up that chest again, but also relaxing into the pec. So what we don't, 
think about a lot too when we come into this rounded position it's not just about working the back but it's actually about relaxing the front okay we want this chest to relax so one of the things that i love to do before you even get out of bed in the morning you can cross your top knee over your bottom and then you're going to reach forward with one hand and then reach out open and let this arm literally just relax okay so you're going to reach breathe in breathe out on that long slow exhale you're going to think of just relaxing and opening and i like to do this over the edge of the bed too so you give that arm plenty of space to fall and you get to into that chest to just relax so you can hold this for a little bit or you can just kind of go back and forth and i like to do about 10 to 15 before i get out of bed in the morning and then you can also even make that stretch even further by bending that elbow and then just kind of reaching overhead and coming down so kind of making like those floor angels but you're going to be kind of hanging that arm off the bed so you get a little bit more stretch into that pec. One more great one for week three is the Revitalize. So this is the Simone Sculptnet bra and I just love and adore the design and it's kind of long so it just feels really good. This is actually small so it doesn't hold me in too tight. Again, I don't like when things are just like squeezing and cutting me off. I like to feel comfortable in my workout clothes. Shocker. <laughs> and then these are the Kessler 2 high-waisted pants and they have these little strappies in the back which you can hold like a phone, a wallet, or something when you're going out and walking or it just adds a really cute design to the back. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into a child's pose but not just a child's pose where you relax and breathe. We actually want to start to activate those shoulders now, okay? So I'm gonna come onto the bed. So I just did my open book. Now I'm going to come all the way down and reach my arms out as comfortably as possible for you. Okay, I'm gonna actually put a little bit of tension. So I want my thumbs to the ceiling and press my arms down into the bed. Now I want to try to press one arm down as I lift and hover the other one. The goal is to keep that elbow straight. So you don't wanna lift and hover and have that elbow bend. You actually want to press that opposite down and then reach long with that hand and squeeze that elbow straight as you reach and hold. Okay, so now the goal here, if you can't with a straight elbow get that arm lifted, that's okay, you don't have to hover. Even the work of thinking and pulling that shoulder blade back into the spine and keeping that elbow straight is already going to create the work around that shoulder blade to help eventually lift into that good position. All right, we're gonna end out this last exercise here at the side of the bed on the floor. You can also do this against the wall, but since I'm showing you what you can do when you're just on your bed, this is where we're gonna end it out. And I'm ending it out in my favorite piece of the month. So this isn't available until week four of January. And this is so comfortable. I mean, this is what quarantine has been about, right? What can you wear that you can wear all day long, you don't mind, and you still look kinda cute in it too. <laughs> so this is the Esme pullover sweater and you have the Chloe slim sweatpant and together they're just so incredibly comfortable and real stylish. So here you can either sit or you could just bring your knees up. So again, we wanna kind of lock out the lower back. So I'm gonna bend my knees and try to just lock out that lower back. Now what you also wanna be sure and what this kind of does, which is great, is it kind of pulls that rib cage down automatically. We don't wanna be so down that you're kind of rounded in your shoulders, but you don't want to also be extended out. So this position here kind of prevents you from being able to arch in that low back and cheat. So what you're gonna do here, we're gonna kind of do angels. So we did them at the edge of the bed, but now we're gonna do it kind of sitting against the bed and we're gonna reach up as high as possible, shoulder blades away from the ears, and then come and bring the elbows down, hands back, reaching up and then reaching down. And you'll really feel everything around those shoulder blades start to activate. If you really wanna get it a little bit deeper and just kind of hold into here, you don't have to reach, so you could just practice by pulling those elbows back, forearms against the bed or wall, and just breathing and kind of pressing back. You're gonna to start to feel those shoulder blades activate, rib cages down, and you're in good positioning here. Then when you're ready, you can start to reach it up and reach it down. Now, if you want help with more exercises to get into your body and feel something different, that's what my YouTube channel is about. And again, if you wanna try out some of these awesome, awesome outfits, they're all from Fabletics, it's all I wear. And the new VIP offer when you sign up is so incredible. Again, two pairs of leggings for $24, 50% off the rest of your order, 
plus free shipping. Plus, Fabletics just came out with a Fabletics app and you can start to do some workouts and training and you get free access to the app when you sign up as a VIP member. So again, so many perks, so many benefits to becoming part of the Fabletics family. If you have more questions about the body or anything that I showed you, make sure to leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos on how you can start to help and feel better within your body. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you're enjoying it. Don't forget to like and comment below to let me know what you think and subscribe so you don't miss any in the future.